Hey, it's Peter Minter from positivemusic.com.au. If you're interested in improving your drumming skills, then this video will really interest you. For many of us who drum, whether you're playing in a percussion ensemble, uh, drumming on your own at home, maybe uh, playing in a, a drum circle, or even at a performance level, we get how drumming is so joyful can bring so much joy uh, and energy to our life. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my five ways to improve your drumming. But first of all, if you haven't already downloaded my free Djembe Drumming ebook, I'll leave a link under here. It's a great resource. It's free. So great for beginner drummers, intermediate drummers, drum teachers, classroom music teachers, just a really good resource and it's absolutely free. I believe more people out there playing music uh, brings more positive energy into our community. So bring on the music, I say. So for this video, we're going to check out five ways of how to improve your drumming and I'm going to share with you two hand drum rhythms and how they beautifully dialogue together. So I'm going to show you those. And then we're going to play along to one of my tracks called Sacred Earth. So number one, okay, timing. Timing is everything, yeah? As a drummer, we need to have good time. And so what we need to do is practice either playing with a metronome or playing along to music. Some people might go, playing along to a metronome it can be really boring. Yeah, it can. But what I kind of do, change it in my mind, I change it into, that's someone else just playing like a cowbell. It's someone, I'm actually playing with someone. So, because what can happen uh, on a subconscious level that we begin to fight the tempo, we begin to fight the metronome instead of working together, that it is another person that we're playing with. Playing along to a metronome is great to build our time. So for example, if you're wanting to play a phrase, a rhythm, that can be played at a fast tempo and you're not quite there yet, your timing isn't quite right, then I recommend that playing at a really slow tempo. Start with all, when you're starting learning new rhythms, always start with a slow tempo. I think if you check out Phil Collins, that's what he recommends too. So always practice something new at a slow tempo. And what I really love to do, really get involved in that rhythm how does it feel in my hands when I'm play either playing with sticks or hand drums? What, is it, what does it feel like? What does it look like when, when I'm playing? And what does it sound like? So really getting involved, investing in that phrase, investing in that rhythm, and then start to play that rhythm as a meditation. So I could, if I'm practicing, so I'm learning a new instrument, I'm learning the marimba, I just love to play over and over again this same beautiful melodic phrase and I'm just observing what do my hands look like and what does the sound, what, what does it sound like? So not only am I focused on the timing, where those notes are landing within that phrase, within that time, but I'm also really focusing on the sound that I'm producing. So not only is it timing, but it's also the characteristics that I'm bringing to that, to that rhythm. If you're playing with, if you're playing in a percussion ensemble, timing is everything. When we're looking at percussion music, all rhythms work cohesively, together. They work just like a beautiful family together. They belong in their own family. And if your timing is a little bit f floppy, it's flaming with other rhythms, 
it's just not going to groove, you know. So when you've got good timing, you've got good groove, you know, it's, it feels good. So tighten up the tempo, t- tighten up the uh, timing, practicing with a, a metronome and playing along to music. Number two, okay, feel. How do we practice feel? It's really, it really comes down to exploring, being curious, listening to a lot of music, playing along to music. That's why I recommend in this video that we're going to have a jam together playing along to one of my tracks. Playing along to music. I remember when I first started out learning how to drum, playing on the drum kit, uh, I just spent, you know, nights and nights, nights and mornings playing along to music. And then what happens is that because you're playing along to professional musicians, uh, because you're playing along to um, the music, like, for example, it, if, if it was a jazz band, you're playing with these professional musicians on these records. And, and so their timing was perfect. They had a groove going. So working on playing along to music, you start to get the feel of what does it feel like in this genre? You know, if you're playing jazz, if you're playing rock, playing indie, what's the characteristics? How does it feel, this music? How does it feel? What does it bring up in me? And Because you're also exploring yourself as well. You, music is really a self-reflective tool of, you know, things that, you know, things that you need to work on personally. But that's another story, yeah? That's another video, but we won't go there at this moment. We're going to keep it nice and simple, nice and basic today, yeah? So feel, playing along to music, lots and lots of music. If you practice, for example, an hour a day, listen to music, play along to music an hour a day. That's how important developing feel is, yep. Now let's check out these two beautiful rhythms, how they dialogue together. I'm going to put them together individually at first and then we'll put them together and notice the musicality of just these two beautiful rhythms. Okay, let's go. Check it out. Now, get your drum, hand drum, and let's go and play along together to Sacred Earth. How'd you go with the play along? I hope you did really well. 
So if you're interested in Sacred Earth and all the hand drum rhythms that go along with this song, as you can hear, it also includes a lot of uh, Australian instruments such as the didgeridoo. So it's very grounding and earthy, this song. Uh, it has maybe five play along uh, rhythms plus solos as well. It comes in a PDF form plus uh, MP3s, high quality MP3s. I'll leave a link under here where you can get those off positivemusic.com.au. Okay, number three, technique. Yeah, technique. What can I say about technique? Probably one of the most things that I studied when I started out was technique. I used to play a lot of drum kit, a lot of snare drum, and as I got older, I went on to hand drums and I started to spend more time on developing technique. And Victor Wooten said, you know, music is learning another language and that's what we're learning. So it's tones, it's textures, uh, bringing out the characteristics of the drum that we're playing at the time. Learning dynamics, a whole range of um, technique styles that we can delve into that can express what's in our heart musically and so when we delve into improving technique we're really delving into uh, musicality how can we make this more musical instead of da 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 you know for example so once again practicing technique slow tempos working on getting, if you're playing a hand drum, working on playing the difference between slaps and tones can make a huge difference to playing a rhythm. For example, if you're playing with sticks and you're playing on a snare drum, using those beautiful dynamics, single stroke rolls, double stroke rolls, making them clear and precise makes a huge difference. So it's just those little, you know, 10% uh, attention to those details can make a huge difference to the quality of sound, the quality of musicality that you're playing. Okay, so the number four, yeah, I think we're up to number four. Number four, knowledge. Keep being curious. Keep exploring. Ask a lot of questions. Listen to a lot of music. Yes, listen, listen, listen. So the more you listen, the more knowledge that you gain, knowledge, knowledge is priceless. Yeah? Not only as a student, but also as a teacher as well. If you can, even if you've been playing for years, maybe get with a mentor, someone who knows more than you, like a professional. Definitely get uh, hook up with a professional. They are worth their weight in gold. And sometimes just having a mentor can keep you on track. You know, sometimes that we can get off track, not feel inspired, but getting with a, a mentor or a teacher who really knows not only about music, but who's a really good teacher, who's a great listener. They're the best teachers, yeah, the teachers that listen. And then they guide you. They don't tell you how to play. They guide you and they encourage you. And so getting with a mentor who knows a lot more than you, as I said, worth their weight in gold. Keep building that knowledge. And the fifth one. Well, what can I say? I think if you're learning anything, anything in life, 
uh, anything creative, anything that might be personal, music, art, accountancy, I don't know. I don't do numbers well, even though I'm a drummer. Yeah. Anyway, it's another story. Comparing ourselves to others, it can be a huge downfall and can actually really be quite detrimental. So comparing ourselves like that person is so good, I can never play like that piece, like that person, oh, I might as well give up, you know. No, don't, don't. We need more unique people. So actually it's probably best that you don't play like someone else. Be yourself. So keep focused on your track. This is your track. Once you start comparing yourself to others, you start to get off track, you know, and then you're led down this path of ego and it's a never-ending, self-defeating game. No. Stay on your track. Stay on your track. Be uniquely you. Be uniquely you. Practice the basics, be uniquely you. Stay strong, have that courage to be you. Yeah, it does take courage, especially in today's world we're living in, when there is a lot of comparisons. There's only one of you, be you. You're the best at being you, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you spending time with me, I know our, pres- our time is very precious. So I, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. And once again, if you haven't already downloaded my free Djembe drumming ebook, please download it. More music that's being played out there, the more positive energy, positive music that's being played in the world. So, what instrument do you play? Or what are the challenges that you have playing your own drum? Please feel free to add a comment below. Click share, like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Namaste. Have a wonderful week and keep on drumming. Bye. Now, a little gift from me to you. I wanted to help you out as much as I can. I've added some great hand drum and stick drum rhythms in my ebook called Seven Easy Steps to Develop Rhythm, Technique, Timing and Feel. It's filled with lots of rhythms and musical tips for beginners and intermediates to help you take your playing to the next level. This is my gift to you and a wonderful resource that can accompany on your rhythmical journey. So you can grab your copy absolutely free. Just go to positivemusic.com.au forward slash free djembe drumming and download it right there and then. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the videos. I'll see you on the next video and take care.